Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a set of interactive materials for your students using a tool called ThingLink. Um, you can see uh, on the screen here an example of a lesson that I already created using this tool and which we're going to recreate uh, in this video. I'm going to show you step by step how you can create such a set of materials to use in your lessons. Um, so the first thing um, to do is to um, open your new scene. Okay, so what I've done is I've made a clone of my original scene, which you can do in ThingLink. Uh, but if you didn't want to do that and you wanted to use your own picture, you would click on Create and upload 360 degree image. Um, if you've got a normal uh, a normal standard 2D image then you can just click on upload image but in this case I've already created my scene so I'm going to now click on edit and we're going to start adding the content okay so to start with I've already added my first uh, label um, and this one is a text and multimedia label um, and I, I've given it the, the icon number one so that students know it's the first thing they need to look at. OK, and we've added this title. Welcome to Cafe Deli. And now I'm going to add the text, which I have ready prepared. Um, and I'm going to just copy and paste it in there. So these are the instructions for the students. Um, OK, so that's the first one and I'm going to put it over here, um, which is probably the area that they will look at when they come in. OK, so it won't be exactly the same as the original, but you, you get the idea. OK, and then uh, number two, uh, we have uh, um, an image that we want to include. Um, so again, I'm going to click on Add Label and add text to multimedia. I'm going to give this the number two. Um, OK, and here I want to give the title activity so that students know they have to do something. Um, and then the instructions. And then I'm going to add the image of the menu. OK, and then I close that and I'm going to put this over here, I think. Anywhere on the menu will do. OK, so now we're going to start adding some vocabulary. Um, so again, another instructions card, uh, number three this time. Um, and this one we're going to call... Um, vocabulary okay and I'm going to give uh, some instructions for students um, so as you can see here I'm telling students to look for the star icons um, so I'm now going to label lots of items in the scene um, with their names in English and with a star icon so here are some that are already here because it's going to take too long to do all of them. OK, so some that are missing, I think, are jar. So let's add a jar. This time we're going to choose text label. And here you can't add a title or anything, just a short uh, amount of text. So I'm adding the word jar. I'm choosing the star symbol. Um, and I'm going to move that and put it on a jar. OK, let's add another one. Um, I think hob was another uh, vocabulary item that we chose. Again, the star symbol, hob. And I'm going to put that on the hob. OK, and we continue adding vocabulary like that. Um, 
for example the sink I'm clicking on the label again sink and adding the star icon and then I shall put that by the sink okay so you can see there's lots of other uh, vocabulary items already labeled in the scene you would just add them one by one okay so uh, we've now got two uh, we've got the yeah two tasks we've got the first one which is finding the ingredients in the picture and the second one which is the vocabulary activity okay um, now we've got the vocabulary, we want to insert a puzzle to practice some of that vocabulary. Uh, so to do that, uh, we're going to add a, another label, but this time it's going to be add content from website, embed content. Uh, and here you can insert a link or an embed code. So I have this puzzle already created here and i'm just going to copy the link and paste it in here and there we have our puzzle embedded it's really easy um in this one i i've given the puzzles a question mark symbol um you could choose a different one if you think that's suitable to show that it's a, a game or a puzzle Okay, so I'm putting that here near the, the vocabulary uh, instructions uh, as it's related to that task. Um, okay, so we've got those. Next is a video. We want students to watch a video in this case. Um, uh, and it's a, a, a video where they learn how to make a recipe. So first we're going to give them the instructions. So this is task four. And I'm going to copy the text that I want to include. And the title, how to make tabula. Okay, so that's the instructions. Um, so what we've asked them to do is to click on the video icon and watch the video so we need to add that video icon and that video um, I'm going to put this over here and now we're going to add the video uh, so again we're going to embed the content uh, with a YouTube video I'm just going to copy the link and paste it in here and there's our video embedded and I'm going to give it a video icon so students know what they're looking for and I'm going to place it just under the instructions so now we've got our video um, students will watch that and we're going to give them a, a puzzle to do. I've got two puzzles that I've created using learning apps. Um, one is uh, a game and the other one is a close activity. Uh, so I'm going to first insert the game. Here I've given it um, a, like a, a PlayStation uh, game icon so we'll do the same. Um, again, as it's an embeddable activity, we're clicking the third option. I'm going to choose the game icon. And I need the code for this activity. So I'm just going to open it up. And then at the bottom here, um, you can choose the embed code. Copy that and paste it here to embed into the scene okay again I'm going to place it near the instructions um, and then the other activity uh, we're going to do the same with that one so I'm going to go back to my apps 
uh, and this is a, a text completion activity. I'm going to do exactly the same. Copy the embed code and then add a new content uh, label. And this time I'm giving it a question mark because it's not really a game, it's a, an activity. And again, placing that near the others. Okay, um, task number five is a speaking activity. Um, so we're just going to make it a multimedia label to give it the number before I forget which one it is. And this one's called Delicious Cakes. Oops. Delicious Cakes. Um, and we've just got a, a question for them to answer. Um, and it's a speaking activity that they can do in groups or in pairs. And we're just gonna add an image to make it look a little bit nicer. There we go, and um, that's a good place for it, near the cakes over here. And then our final activity is going to be a writing task. So we're going to tell students to imagine that they are this, this person over here who is, who is the head chef. So final activity number six, uh, we're going to give them the task write a recipe I have the text instructions over here okay um, and I think that's that's it we're gonna stick it near this guy over here and um, I think we've included everything that's, it, that's in the original materials. So once that's done, um, if you want to, you can add some background music or, um, or sound effects. To do that, you need to click on uh, Settings um, and Upload Audio. Okay, and then you, you choose an audio file. Um, I don't want to include one of these materials. And then that will play during uh, the whole activity uh, while students are exploring the scene. Uh, but when they click on the labels, uh, that sound uh, will, will stop unless you add sound to the labels themselves. Okay, and so that's it. We have our uh, video, so we're going to now just view it as if we were students. Uh, everything's there in its place. It looks a little bit messy. You can play around, move things around when you're editing, um, but if you, you you can see how students would just click on each item and they come up. And then if they want to do an activity like this one, it's just here. So for example, this one here, um, they have to order, reorder the letters to to create the words. You just have to drag them into the correct place. Okay. Or well, the video, they can watch it within within the screen. They don't have to leave. Um, everything's embedded in there nicely. And um, so that's it, really. Um, it's uh, quite easy to create a, uh, a scene like this. Um, so I, I encourage you all to go out and try um, ThingLink. It's a really useful tool. As you can see, I have lots of scenes created. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. And there's also a blog uh, with ideas on how you can use it as a teacher uh, in the classroom. Okay, hope you've enjoyed the video, found it useful. Uh, thank you for watching.